I'm Jane Burnett. I just returned from visiting an area in the rainforest of Borneo that's not been seen by many tourists. The Dayak Benwak village in Waratai, whose ancient forest is being bulldozed by palm oil companies. I went there with my friend Ruri, who has been working for a long time in Indonesia to help the indigenous people, sometimes putting himself in great danger to do so. We thought we were going on a kind of hospice mission to support the local people and share their grief as they let go of their forest. But that's not how it turned out at all. As we arrived and settled in, we asked our host Aswi, why not move up river with relatives? Let go of this forest, leave it to the palm oil company since so much of it has already been destroyed. Aswi's answer was simple and final. I love this forest, is what he said. He then proceeded to spend the next few days showing us everything he loved about it, and in the process, filled us both with inspiration to follow his lead and listen deeply until our own hearts told us what to do with as much clarity as his. It dawned on us that it is exactly this process of tapping into the heart, the big picture, and our deepest human values that is left out of the Western model of negotiation and conflict resolution, but is central to the Dyak method. Given that the Western model has failed to stop the destruction of the forest despite the best efforts of NGOs over many years, we saw that it was time to give our full support to the indigenous way and help Aswi to fund a ceremony called Sampa Adad, which since ancient times has been used to reconnect all sides of the conflict to one another and to the web of life. In the past, it has helped the tribe to avoid direct physical confrontation and even war. Aswi is a knowledge holder and a leader among the Dayak Benwak people. He tells us of the tribe's fortitude and resilience in facing the illegal bulldozing of their forest is inspired by ancient stories which remind them that all humans were given the role of keeping the earth in balance. And while others have clearly forgotten this assignment, this tribe has maintained a deep conviction that their purpose on the earth is to protect this particular forest. By helping us to fund this ceremony, you will be sending a message to these dedicated guardians of the forest that their strenuous efforts on behalf of the rainforest are noticed and appreciated by those in the industrial world who use the resources and breathe the oxygen provided by what is left of our collective lungs, as the rainforests have been called. This is not a small thing. Aswi says that the enemy is not the palm oil companies or the government officials who accept their bribes. The enemy is despair. Our hope is that the people in the developed world will be inspired to use internet technology to join with this remote tribe in global creative ceremonial space buoying the spirits of these guardians of the forest for the difficult work they're doing for us on the front lines and drawing on their inspiring conviction in order to reignite our own dedication to our vital role as humans in restoring and maintaining balance for the good of the whole.